right, so we're on to the three um, gas laws that you're going to write down. So you've written down Boyle's Law, Charles Law, and Gay-Lussac's Law, and you need your PTV card for this. Okay, so Boyle's Law, what did we say? For a given mass of gas at a constant temperature, volume varies inversely with pressure. So that means when one goes up, whoop, the other goes down, okay, inversely, so opposite. Same thing with our PTV card. That means you're going to hold on to temperature because it says for a given mass of gas at a constant temperature. Hold on to the T. What happens when you spin the P up? The V goes down. Okay? So in case the thumbs up, thumbs down thing doesn't work for you, you can think about the PTV card. Use your PTV card. Okay? So what's the equation? P1 times V1 equals P2 times V2. That just means initial pressure times the initial volume equals the product of the final pressure times the final volume. Okay? Next one, Charles' Law. Okay? What does it say? The volume of a given mass of gas is directly proportional to its Kelvin temperature. Why do we need Kelvin? So we don't have any zeros in those fractions. Okay? Anytime we have zero in a math equation, it's null and void. It goes away. Right? Totally gone. So we have to have the Kelvin temperature. So V1 over T1 equals V2 over T2. Volume, initial volume over divided by initial temperature equals final volume over final temperature. Okay? Remember, temperature has to be in Kelvin. Next one, Gay-Lussac's Law. This is the last one we haven't looked at. Okay? And it works kind of the same way as Charles. With Charles, what stayed the same? Pressure. So you're going to hold the P on your card, and if you turn T up, what happens to V? It goes up. If you turn the T or the V down, what happens to the other one? It goes down. So that would be directly proportional, which can go like this or like this. Okay? Now, Gay-Lussac's Law, what does it say? Temperature and pressure are directly related if the volume is held constant. Okay? Volume is held constant, so hold the V on your PTV card. When one goes up, what happens to the other? It goes up. So that means we're dealing with directly proportional. So... P1 over T1 equals P2 over T2. What happens to the T? It's got to be in Kelvin. Okay. Um, pressure 1, so initial pressure divided by initial temperature equals final pressure over final temperature. So those are kind of our big three we're going to start with when we go into gas laws. Say bye, sis. Say bye, sis. Thanks for learning chemistry. Okay.